Hello everybody, it's Nick here, and I have another package. Yeah, it doesn't, it's again, not a video game. But that's not the only reason I'm making this video. I'm going to show you, or I'm going to play a little bit of some stuff I'm working on. It's not like compositions, but uh, stuff I've been learning how to play. Anyways, whew, this is something I've been waiting for for a while. And by a while, I mean like a week. So it really hasn't been that long, but I anticipated it so much. Alright. Please let it be in my size. Yeah, I got a shirt. But it's not any kind of shirt or normal one. This is Sting's Mercury Falling Tour shirt. My only complaint is that it's not the actual cover. But uh here, here it is for reference. But uh still, this thing's awesome. I'm gonna put this on. So I'm gonna put the camera. I don't I don't think people would like seeing me shirtless. So hang on. I'm going to wear my Nirvana shirt, like, or I'm going to wear this over the Nirvana shirt. Uh, it smells old. I was two years old when this album was released, so this shirt, so, like, when they made these shirts, I was probably, like, two years old. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's good. So take a look. What do you think? Huh? Cool, right? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I I was actually kind of considering getting my hair cut like Sting, like at least from this album. But I I have one reason I have long hair. You know, it's because Alice in Chains. You know, Jerry Cantrell is the guy who first inspired me to do it. But uh, it's also because I have a really small head. Nobody would know that because this hair disguises it pretty well, I think. But damn, I have really I have a really tiny head. Anyway, something I've been working on is a. Uh, yeah, this is my Alice in Chains acoustic now. Um, and what I mean by that is, a lot of those grunge bands, at least in Seattle, I don't know why they did it, but they had their guitars tuned down like one half step for each note. So I've been learning a few things. I, I First thing, or main thing I've been trying to learn is Frogs. That's, that's a good song. Yeah, it's a little out of tune. I need to get this guitar looked at because you have to keep turning and all of a sudden it snaps to a new frequency. It doesn't just go, it goes, it, it, I don't know what's with that, but anyways. And then, you know, Heaven Beside You. That's the one I used to know how to play, and then, you know, I haven't played Alice in Chains for a long time, so. that sounds like no excuses because it's the same chorus. Which, by the way, the song really hurts to play. But yeah, Frogs is the one I'm learning the most. Um, I'm trying to get the riff down. I got the ending riff down, which is cool. So. Oops. I do have the sheet music, but still, and I got this out of my mom's car because it is mine. But the autograph CD. I mean, now listening to this CD, like I only listened to the whole thing once, but it's not a bad album. It's just it doesn't compare to the original stuff that you know when Lane was around. It's just you know, I, it's, it sucks because I, I wish I was there to help him. You know, it's. It's really too bad. So, yeah, maybe I'm getting out of the Sting transition, moving on to Alice in Chains, I don't know. But still, I mean, it's a good way to play guitar. I just like this little room. It sounds so creepy. So, of course, if I know how to play this thing, I'll do a cover. Same with Heaven Beside You. Anyways, so yeah, I've been learning some of that stuff, so 
I'm really looking forward to playing it. I, you know, I do plan on doing a few Sting covers um, on piano. Now, when I made the covers, um, what I did was I opened up, you know, my MIDI sequencer and I actually like made backing tracks completely by ear. And I think for the most part they're accurate. They're not like 100 percent, but I think they're they sound pretty damn close considering you know what I have to work with. So. Uh, the hardest part is probably like finding the bass lines for those songs, because you think just turn up the bass on your, you know, speakers and it sounds good, but no, and you just get a lot of booming noise. But it, it it's actually kind of hard to hear the notes of uh of the bass part for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, Alice in Chains. This is my favorite Alice in Chains album for you, AIC fans. What's your favorite? I want to know. But uh, I mean, I like all of them: Facelift, Dirt, Sap. Those are all good ones. And Jar of Flies, who can forget Jar of Flies. Unplugged is probably my least favorite. Now, don't get me wrong, I do love the album, but I'm just saying, like, out of all of them, it's the one I like the least. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to play some music now, so peace out.